You steal stuff because of a TikTok trend. I steal stuff because I work for the British Museum. And we're off to a great start today, I guess. In the US, we have baseball as our favorite pastime. I think this is the British version of that. Me increasing my carbon footprint so the Netherlands sinks faster into the ocean. Too bad they're just so good at defeating the ocean, though, unfortunately. Never in my 20 years of teaching has a substitute left a note this bad. Oh no, don't tell me the substitute went out and started a car this morning. The BBC explaining why it's not a state propaganda network. Also also the BBC banning a sci-fi show because one episode mentioned the reunification of Ireland. Yeah, we don't do that around here. Maybe the real treasure was the friends we made along the way, along with that huge diamond we looted from India. Oh yeah, this will look great in the museums. British people be like micro crisps. Bonkers, isn't it? Newcastle people, when they see a castle that is more than a year old. Time to tear that sucker down. Gotta stay true to the name. Upvote this post if you are taller than Napoleon. Oh boy, I don't... I don't know if I am. Ooh, oh man, that was a close one. Invades numerous countries in search of spices. Refuses to use spices in any of your dishes. Invade numerous countries in search of oil. Use oil to deep fry basically any dish. And you know what, while we're at it, why aren't the British eating those thousand year old artifacts they're stealing from other countries too? The frick is less miserables. Less miserables is what French people wish they were. And they wrote a whole musical about that? LMAO, it's adorable that you think American humor is somehow too deep, complex, and nuanced to be understood by people from other countries. This reply, Oi, Nigel, come have a gaff at this. That codger on the tellies doing the silly walk again. Oh, my British accent is pathetic. Yanks making fun of our teeth. I shall bring up his... You know what? Okay, yeah, I got us there. But I appreciate him saying it so uh, thoughtfully. Birmingham people when they challenge you to a street race. Be very careful because I think that thing will double as a cannon too. Homie, there is no Big Ben here. It's East London. You're going to get stabbed. <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Steve. English people be like Alvin and the Crisp Monks. I'm sure they would taste pretty crispy if we fried them first. If you think America is a joke, there is an entire country that speaks like Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> Can you imagine how cringe? French dudes be like, I have pain in both legs. Can we confirm that biologically the French just have baguettes for legs? Hello, sir. What's your emergency? I'm having a heart attack. Please tell us where you live. Oh, no, he didn't make it. He was from, oh, oh, yeah, this is like the 26th letter place. Isn't this in Wales? He only got through 12 syllables. Eurovision be like, yeah, seems about right. I mean, at this point, why aren't they just letting everybody in if they let Australia in? British people win Comchester beats titty mouth football team. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I'm not sure if my American accent is pronouncing these cities properly. Scientists have figured out how to increase global IQ scores by 20%. Okay, take the Death Star and beam all of France. Oh, is this what Germany was trying to do throughout all their history too? Boy, I sure do love being a British child in the 1970s with this delicious school provided milk. I sure would hate if I were to lose such a privilege during these trying times. No, Doge Thatcher, don't do it. Americans be like, S 1.36 United States dollar game. Oh, cuz in Britain, they would call this, this is quid. What is our currency exchange to quid? Oh, oh, okay, that's not good. British people be like, the website uses biscuits to improve user experience. I really do think British websites should just say biscuits. We're all saying it as a joke, just embrace it. Pick two, the rest are coming for you. Oliver, professional chav, singly responsible for 40%. <laughs> Jack, Brummy, holds a master's degree in street racing. Bob contributes nothing to society apart from being a police officer. Benedict, filthy rich, unironically Thatcherite. Stella, Scrouser, makes cringe, uh, diss tracks. Bubba is a football fan, has years of combat experience from beating, okay. Rajiv, IT expert living in London, is single. Thomas, former coal miner, voting labor is his entire personality. Gordon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'll be going with Oliver and Jack so we can do drive-by shankings. Me on my way to the hospital after breaking my legs on purpose just to flex on Americans without free healthcare. Literally every day we're out here just taking L's. Ah yes, next stop, the British Museum. Love the little mustache they gave to him. IRA foos when the Brits are unable to start their cars because of the petrol shortage. Yeah, this was not a part of their plan. American people be like, check, buddy. Oh, because we don't say mate. That's great. 
8 out of 8. What would you do if you were Prime Minister? I'd have the price of cigarettes, double the tax on health food, then declare on France. I think you might have just won the next election. Americans, when British people actually say water instead of wa- uh, wait, no. That can't actually happen. This wasn't a part of orientation. I have to go down the elevator and get a ride so I can go and work out. I have to take the lift so I can get a lift so I can go and lift. Never underestimate Chad OG English. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of currency, here we have three quid. I'm sorry, Kristoff, but why would you need a ski mask, two cars, and 230 kilograms of fertilizer? <laughs> Is this how they celebrate July 4th in Ireland? Any Englishman born after 1921 can't conquer. All they know is Greg's, drink they tea, smoke ciggy, be unhygienic, and eat baked beans and... Okay. Yeah, I love beans, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to eat beans in the morning. Sweden on its way to break the world record for the fastest female prime minister resignation speed run. I see that country has their priorities straight. Behold, the English husbandator. Oh, I've heard... I've heard this before. No, France. A sunken ship does not count as a submarine, says Australia. Worst trade deal in history. Richest English citizen versus poorest resident of Wales. If you enjoyed this meme, please consider making a donation. I would be extremely grateful. You can send the money to 110. Yeah, I'm not gonna say all that. Is this Wales' way to get back at everyone for treating them like crap? British people be like Z, 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 Z. Oh, uh, instead of catching Zs. Do they say catching Z there? Things to do in England. Number one, leave. This is still one my favorite formats. Fish after Yanks dumped 50 boxes of tea into the harbor. Oh. Is this how England ruled the waves? What's your favorite fictional country? We have Wakanda, Genovia. I've never heard of that one before. Narnia or the United Ireland. Okay. I don't even know where these memes are gonna go. Like, I don't know who's being flexed on every time. Balkan dudes laughing at British French cuisine, but then realizing they're too poor to afford the food. Uh, so it starts off with a laugh and oh. Then it gets serious. The French national anthem. All right. Oh, this song slaps on mute. I just realized the comment section under national anthems must be hilarious. Okay, never mind. After spending three minutes looking through stuff, I'm disappointed. POV, you just gave a lecture on the rich history of Cornwall. <laughs> That's mean. I like Cornwall. But to be fair, that's only because it's like the most recognizable place in the UK. British supermarkets slapping the Union Jack on every single product. Uh, British supermarkets? How about British flag makers? Drinking in America. Get some drinks with your bros. Get in a fight with your bros. Go to jail. Drinking in Ireland. Drinking with your bros. Get in a fight with your bros. And just keep drinking with the bros. This is Ireland's pastime right here. I don't think there's any denying that a medium rare steak boiled the UK way is 100% flavor town. This literally makes me want to vomit. Average London fan versus average county side enjoyer. Oh, so this is a meme here too. We got the same stuff in the US. Me telling people I'm half colonizer, half colonized because I'm mixed with white and Asian. He's actually half Japanese, half I- <sighs> Now that's a twist you probably didn't expect. The word Q. Of course, the only one that's happy is the letter Q. I swear, I was like 23 years old when I understood what a Q was. Just took 93-year-old mum to vote. She's registered blind. In a loud voice, she said, Which box for war with France? A cheer went up from the waiting voters. Honestly, some habits you just never can get rid of. Hey, England, please stop naming your towns after our presidents, Lincoln and Washington. How cringe. Imagine, imagine the US names their next city Boris Johnson. British people be like, let's go get a sandwich at underground. Wait, do they not say Subway? Oh, I never knew this. Yeah, I watch James Corden. Oh, is he? Oh, forever alone. I see. Yeah, is that why? Did the British like willingly give that to Americans as some sort of just horrible spy to make our lives worse? It's 2020 and I haven't figured out why Belgian people exist. You either identify as Dutch or French. There is no in-between. Really loving that Snape is working out here. These people entering their address. I've always wondered. Must take them like an hour to fill out that shipping address. The Netherlands, when I drop a rock into the sea and very slightly increase global sea levels. Their entire country just becomes Atlantis. Inside you, there are two wolves. One says Tuesday, the other says Tuesday. Did I say that right? Tuesday. Oh, I suck. Just donated to the Welsh community. Hope they find a cure. I still don't understand. I don't understand the whale stuff. How have we seen literally nothing against Scotland? POV, you brought up Scottish independence in Parliament. Oh, okay, finally. Yeah, everyone just sleeps. Talking to a friendly girl on Discord, having a nice chat. Ask her if she wants to voice chat for a bit. Sure, that sounds fun. I talked to a British guy yesterday, and it was awful. I hate their accents so much. Oh, well, I'm British. 
She deletes me instantly. Where could this girl have possibly came from? I know that's not how it is in the US. British people be like, EZ, PZ, lemon squeezy. But for some reason that just doesn't flow off the tongue as well. Inside you, there are two Scotsmen. One is from Aberdeen, the other is from Edinburgh. I don't think I've ever heard of Aberdeen before. Oh, that's way up there. 200,000 people. Stop complaining about your life. There are literally people living in France. That brings a whole new perspective if you're depressed. Map of the British Isles, we have England, Wales, Scotland, the Irish Sea. Oh yeah, Northern Ireland. Wait, Northern Ireland. Re wait, wait a second. EU is China. Okay, because I'm guessing the joke is communism. Here's the Isle of Man. Oh, you know what's even more perfect? The Dutch are somewhere completely underwater right now. Fun fact, number 1776. Europe was founded in 1848 by Walker, Texas Ranger. When he rode a horse across the Atlantic, he called it Eastern USA, which he eventually abbreviated to EU. This is basically what they teach us in American schools, I will say. Berkeley, California versus Berkeley, Gloy... Steyer, Shire, whatever, yeah. Yeah, Berkeley, California is uh, it's an interesting place, I will say that. Tips for students. If your favorite subject is French, you should consider getting a... Oh. Okay. This is how kids go to school in Isle of Man. To graduate, they have to defeat one of these monstrosities. That's why it's on their flag. If you grew up speaking one of these languages, your childhood was most likely awesome. Speaking one of these languages, you should seek treatment for childhood trauma. Oh. The Celtic languages. Uh, yeah, is that why it's going extinct? And big thanks to the Christmas patrons. Aryan After Hours. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy. What are you doing, Step Drew? Why, why am I doing this? This is Gabe. Stormtrooper Fire the Pie. Mine Brothers 999 Majestic Cooper, Unicorn. Luxembourg Lover. Ivan Lima. I love Marks. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Dalton D. Cybernetic Ghost of Christmas Bring Past. Bring back Poland. Barnsky W. And for His Excellency, King Cory.